Jacobs without View TV. Stay tuned for some of the interviews with the stars, celebrities, the questions you'd have, I'm going to ask. Take care. This is Damon Jacobs with Outview TV, and I am here. Introduce yourself. I people. am Corey Wade, and I am here at the Glad Media Awards. <laughs> What's What's it like for you to walk this blue carpet here tonight? It's really cool. It's yeah. different. I wore red to kind of go with the red, but I like the, I like this. It's, it's, it's kind okay. of a cool contrast. It is. I think yeah. it's working. Yeah. <laughs> so what was that experience like on America's Top Model? It was life-changing, yeah. obviously. I had no prior modeling experience before, and I'm still navigating the industry and finding my niche, but yeah. it has changed my life for the better, and I've had such an amazing journey so far. Yeah. And, yeah. Is there a downside to suddenly being thrust into the spotlight like this and getting all this kind of attention? I think it depends on how you look at it, obviously. It's, it's all just perceptive, and I chose to look at it as a beautiful thing. Yes, there are drawbacks and things that you have to adjust to. It's a change. Such as? Uh, just people uh, stopping you in the street and like everybody s sort of looking at you with a magnifying glass like and how you're living your life and what, what you're doing. But it makes life exciting for sure. And it's about being able to just not let that stuff affect you and yeah. keep on keeping on. I've had a blast so far. Have you had any responses from young people that are coming out or afraid to be who they are that have benefited from your appearances? Absolutely. And, you know, the show airs in 186 countries, so I get a lot of messages from kids in Russia, kids, you know, in places that don't really appreciate them or give them the freedom to be who they are. And I think that when I have an open rapport with those people and they see that there are places where differences are celebrated and not frowned upon, it gives them hope and it gives them sort of a reason not to give up on life. And it, it, just to be that inspirational figure for them, it's just, it has been life changing. Yeah. Saving lives, literally. I, I, I don't know. I, I would hope. I, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for everything you're doing. Have a wonderful time thank tonight. You for it's so Hi. nice yeah. to meet you. It's going to be fun. I'm looking yeah. <laughs> thank you. Damon Hi, Jacobs nice without View TV. How oh, are you? I'm fantastic. Nice to meet you. I love Great. your microphone. Jeez. Well, it's thank awesome. you. I know, right? Here. It's our special <laughs> mic at Out View. We tend to suggest. Yes. So you, first of all, I love the blue. Are you? Did you know the carpet was going to be blue? You would be matching matching the carpet. I. Uh, <clears> yes. <throat> absolutely. I know. I've been at four red carpets this week, and every single one has been any other color but red. Right. You know. Right. <laughs> well, some of what you help us do is to challenge our ideas of what is binary, of what is traditional, right. of what is all or nothing. How did you step into this role? Um, I stepped into this role by being at a great disadvantage um, because of the fact that people judged me based on what they already knew, which was that I had a vagina between my legs, um, and. What ended up happening was is um, I didn't want to be at a disadvantage anymore. I have a lot of great stuff to offer this world. It's beyond gay or lesbian. It's just being a good human being. And I realized that when you take advantage of people's um, assumptions of you, and then you, you can kind of like bring a, a bigger message to them. So, um, you know, the, the term and as, to assume is to make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> um, I've also done this with a lot of support from GLAAD. Um, GLAAD comes behind people who are like me and who want to make a difference and they help protect your image and make sure that you can bring a more human message to people that's beyond, like I said, the LGBT community. Um, I think it should be more than LGBT. I think it should be LGBTS. It should be us. It should be everyone. But while there's still a football team mentality, of this versus this, it's really great to know that um, I'm not going to be shoved under a carpet, that yes. these guys are going to help elevate me so I can deliver what I can to make the world a better place. How are we going to move beyond these traditional limiting categories, these traditional binaries? Um, I think that it's going to take a lot of showing people that it's okay. When parents don't support their children, um, it's not because they hate their children or that they think that God is better, although, um, you know, not to bring a religious thing in here. Um, <laughs> The, the, it, starts, it starts at a very early age. Parents are afraid that their children will not obtain the basic human rights of food, shelter, water, and um, the, um, validation throughout their life. And when they see people like, um, like myself and people like my friend Corey here and people like Liver and Cox achieving food, shelter, water, and success and validation, they realize that it's not such a dangerous thing for their child and they're able to support them more. Um, same thing with young people who look on television and they see these people portrayed in a positive light, which is what GLAAD helps people do. Um, and so it's all about showing people that it's okay to be who you are. You're going to get food, shelter, water, validation. And sometimes you'll get it even better than people who, you know, orgasm a particular way that's different. Love the way you put that. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, I am so looking forward to following your career and seeing Thank how you continue you. to enlighten and inspire our world to change. Thank you so, <laughs> Thank you so much. much.